In this video we're going to take a look at how to install Abacus 2018. There's been a fairly significant change in the way it's installed from 6.14 to uh, 2016. There were a few installation issues if you're using Windows 10 and some things. I think they've all been sorted out, but uh, what you should have to get started with uh, for the 2018 installation, of course, the uh, tar files. See these four uh, product all operating system files and this one uh, zip file. Now, before you get started, you should download 7-zip. You can search for that and uh, it's uh, free. You can install that and that'll help extract these tar files on to a PC. All right, now there are instructions but you need to know where to look for them. They're inside of this uh, folder here, uh, inside of this this compressed folder. And so let's go ahead and extract it. So I'm going to do a 7-zip. I'm just going to extract to that uh, folder. Let's take a look at the installation instructions kind of quickly. So we're going to go in here, go in there, go in number one, and here we have this one, installation. You can read prerequisites and things like that, but we're going to look in installation, and we're going to, we'll look at the main one, installation.html. So this is for FE Safe and iSight and Tosca, and it says uh, for complete information, refer to the Sim Simulia installation guide. It's a PDF, so we're going to click on that, and that'll bring up a PDF document. Okay, so we're here, you know, there's the installation roadmap here, it's extracting the media. Okay, so you should kind of read over this. Okay, we're going to uh, find these tar files. Okay. We're going to make a, a directory, an extraction directory. Here they have, for example, C download. Um, previously they called it unload, you can call it C download, so we're going to make that folder. Let's go ahead and do that right now. And it says it's easiest to extract the files into a subdirectory folder of the current or download directory, a single subdirectory folder will be created. Uh, in the instructions throughout this guide, the download directory represents the full path to this extraction directory, for example, C download on Windows and so forth on Linux. Alright, so they suggest we use 7-zip. Okay, we can handle the tar format. And uh, follow the detailed instructions below if needed. Okay, so we're going to select all the tar files and then we're going to go extract here. Before we do that, let's move those files into the download folder. So let's see what's in here. So I'm going to move these tar files. I'm going to cut them. And I'm going to paste them in the download. I'm all selected. So we have 7-zip and then the extract here. Okay, so it'll take a few moments to do that and uh, it's going pretty quick. Let me pause the video and then we'll pick up after this is done extracting. Alright, so that took a few moments to extract all that. If we look in this download folder, uh, we see this uh, AM SIM Abacus Extended All Operating System folder we have one, two, and three. We'll refer to those in just a moment. What it says to do next is to uh, verify the integrity of the extracted media, media by uh, using the DSY install media uh, check utility. Um, you can do that if you want. And it says uh, after you finish extracting the files it should look like this and uh, is that, that's what we saw, one, two, three. And you can look at the table of contents. So you can install this independently or you can install it uh, kind of as a group. The next thing it says is to, in, in this document, is installing the DS license server. 
at, uh, at the University of Alabama. We have a licensed server set up by the uh, OIT department, and uh, they take care of that. So I give them the license file, they drop it in there, and they take care of that part. So we don't need to install the licensed server. All right, so we're going to start the suite installer. Okay, so you can either use a graphical user interface or a text user interface. Let's try the graphical user interface. I'm going to go into uh, folder one and look at setup.exe, and it says here to run as administrator. So let's see if we can do that. I'm going to go into number one, and there should be a setup.exe. It's right here. I'm going to right click on it. And see, you got an option run as administrator. All right, there it is. We're going to hit next. Okay, you see, this is not highlighted. We don't need to install it. Uh, most users will not have to install it. Only if you're setting up your own license server and you have your own license file would you need that. So, we're going to install all this. We have uh, the, the research edition of our license allows us to run all these different options, so let's go ahead and install it. We you know, may or may not end up using all of it. But if you got the space, go ahead. So we're going to hit Next. Okay, choose the installation directory. And the default is good. So we're going to hit Next. And here are the documentation components. Okay, so let's install all the different documentation components. All right. Just one last time to check over everything, and then we'll hit install. Okay, so now I expect this will take a little bit of time. So again, I'm going to pause the video, and we'll come back after it's done. All right, so it's taken a little while. It says the documentation has finished, so I'm going to close this out. And now it's going to start installing the, the products. Now, here's the default installation uh, directory, v6 release 2018x. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna hit next. Uh, but uh, why don't we, just in case, I've seen uh, needed to do this sometimes. Let's go ahead and copy this. Uh, we may or may not need that later. Hopefully, it will bring up that as the default. But if we need to paste in the installation directory now, we've got it in our in our buffer there. So I'm going to hit next for the default. And again, it should take a, a little bit. So uh, here's the components. Okay, we need the solvers, all this kind of stuff, co-simulation. Let's go ahead and do that. So then we're going to hit next. And then install. So again, I anticipate this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to pause the video and uh, we'll pick up after this step is done. All right, so it looks like that step is done, so I'm going to close this window out. Okay, and it says uh, choose the code installation directory. Okay, so it looks like it did fill this in as the default. So we're going to take that, just make sure the version and the path is, is matching here. So we're going to take that as the, uh, the right options. We're going to hit Next. Okay, and uh, we're going to hit Next. And Install. And again, I'm going to pause the video. All right, so let's see. Uh, looks like it's done. We're going to hit close. Let's see what uh, this panel is. Okay, now here's the installation directory um, for CAE. So we'll hit next. And I'm 
don't see anything popping up, but I assume it'll start uh, working on it, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and if anything pops up, I'll restart it. Okay, oh, okay, here it is. License server configuration. Okay, uh, to configure licensing for this product, select the license server type. Um, we use FlexNet at the University of Alabama, so we're going to hit that. And we'll see what pops up here in just a moment. Okay. So it wants to license server one. Now I'm going to type in a name, and uh, if you're a University of Alabama student that contacts me, I will give you this name, and then I'll hit next. We only have one license server, so we're only going to put it in here. And um, you also need to have your VPN activated uh, virtual private network for the University of Alabama system. I'm just going to type that in. I'm going to hit next. All right, so it looks like it took it. Now it wants the Abacus Solver installation path. Uh, here we are at the 2018 edition, so we're going to take that default. We're going to hit next. Commands. Next. Plugins. And it says documentation and configuration op options. Uh, connect the searchable documentation on help.3ds.com. Um, enter a file path for locally installed documentation. Enter a URL for served documentation. So we're going to, I think we're going to do this enter a file path for locally installed documentation. Um, if you want to, I'm sure this works out just fine. But uh, let me see if I can figure out where that is real quick. Okay, so I think it's in here. So I'm going to copy this path. Okay, and it looks like it came up with the default. So we're going to hit next. And here's a, uh, a temp folder. Let me see, I think I have a temp drive on a different system. I have eTemp. You can change that if you want. I'm going to change mine. Make sure it exists and it has uh, write permissions. And then we're going to hit install. Alright, so we're going to uh, this may take a few moments. While it's doing that, just as a reminder to the, the students out there, uh, the faculty at the university, some of us have gotten together and purchased this license. And we've all purchased a certain number of seats of CAE and analysis tokens. So kind of be mindful that if you use more than what your advisor has purchased, you're using somebody else's. That's not necessarily a problem unless whoever purchased their license can't get access to it, in which case I'll have to contact everybody and try to figure out uh, who's using what and get everybody to, to use what they should. Uh, so just kind of kind of keep an eye on that. All right, this looks like it's going to take a little bit, uh, so I'm going to pause the video here. And we'll pick up again uh, in a few moments. All right, so here's a firewall notification, so we're going to allow access. All right, so it finally completed, and it uh, says we can look at the verification results by looking at this file. I'm going to hit continue, and I believe we should be pretty much ready to uh, start using it here. Looks like it's got a little bit more to do. All right, so it's continuing on with FE Safe. We'll hit next. Uh, we'll install all of that.
in Tasca. Right. <clears throat> Enter a path for locally installed documentation. Looks like we're going to take the default. And we'll install that. All right, so once we select the interface, we'll select the Abacus interface just as a default. If you're not familiar with Tasca, I believe it is a uh, optimization program. All right, and uh, I don't have a uh, whatever this is installed, so I'm just going to hit next. All right, and we'll close this out. See if we got anything left. Uh, here we go, eyesight. Yeah, maybe this one's the optimization one. I forget which one's which. But uh, we'll go ahead and install it. All right, I've got no idea what this is, so we're going to hit next. And we're going to skip that. And we'll do the local documentation. And install. All right, I think we're getting close. And, uh, okay, so we got all this installed on uh, the computer. So we're going to close it off. Let me just uh, see if I can start uh, start this up just to make sure it's working. It's going to pop up on my other screen. I'll have to move it over. But it works. All right, so that's it. So that's installing Abacus 2018.